you don't care about guitars, this is a really uh, valuable business lesson anyway. So Guitar Center uh, was huge in the you know 80s, 90s, early 2000s. They basically took uh, over the mom and pop guitar shops and basically it was sort of like a Kmart or a Home Depot or a Lowe's thing where you could walk in and get any, you know, anybody in a local town now had a, access to guitars. Um, but the problem was that they massively overexpanded, right? And it reminds me, somebody the other day was like, oh, we should do business, you know, let's, let's, um, let's talk to this person. They have like a 5 million person email list, right? And then I think we kind of realized that it was like, just because they have a ton of emails, just because Guitar Center has a ton of locations, right now they're a billion dollars in debt. They've been taken over by corporate, uh, you know, people like Bain Capital and some other people like that. And they can't even pay the interest on their loans all because most of the time they've massively overexpanded and they've lost sight of their true customers. The same can be said for the huge list, right? Like if you have a, if you have a million people on your email list, well, how many of those people are actually going to buy your stuff and how much of your money is being spent to just pay uh, Active Campaign or Mara Post or whoever to keep those people on your list. You're going to be paying fifty or $60,000 a month for just the vanity 